Hello and welcome to this video. It is the last of the 3 inch copter build series. In this video we will connect the flight controller and put all the components together. At the end of this video series we will have an awesome 3 inch racing copter with an HD cam ready to fly. For the frame, motors and 3D printed parts check out this video now displayed as a card. First we'll go through the wiring of the Runcam Split Micro 2 with the flight controller real quick. In the video, now displayed as a card, we connect the power and video cables to the flight controller. Also we connected the cam boards to a free UART on the flight controller. This allows us to remote control the camera. The flight controller is an AirBot Omnibus F4. It perfectly fits the Ori 32 4-in-1 EUC we used. The corresponding video is now displayed as a card. We can connect the ESC and flight controller via a simple connector cable with plugs. So no soldering is required there. Additionally, the combo has ESC telemetry, which is nice. Now we put all the components together. You can now see the schema how the VTX RX combo is wired to supply this power. We use the bottom side of the Omnibus F4 flight controller. All we need in this step is to wire the black wires to ground minus and the red cables to 5 volt DC plus. I recommend the use of the TBS Unifi Nano video transmitter and TBS Crossfire receiver combo. We connected those two components with Smart Audio enabled. The Smart Audio allows us to configure the VTX via Lua script on the transmitter. Just as a remark, with this combo we have a potential long range setup. For the next step, we have to flip the flight controller around. This will be the final position, so we already can fix the flight controller onto the stack. The scheme on how to wire the remaining wires up is now displayed. So we have the yellow wire leading to the VTX which we connect to V out. The white control signal cable from our crossfire transmitter goes to RX1 on the flight controller. The yellow telemetry signal cable from the transmitter goes to the TX1. Finally the B pass wired to bus minus and a 5 volt power source. Now that we understand the wiring we start pretending the soldering pads we need on the top side of the flight controller. V out, RX1, TX1, bus minus and plus 5 volt. Then we solder the pre tint wires to the corresponding soldering pads. Take care that the cables are only as long as needed. In case you need to know how to make a good robust buzzer, watch the next couple of seconds, otherwise just skip it. So now we're done with the soldering. Take care the screws of the stack are sufficiently tightened. Plug in the cable of the 4-in-1 ESC and give it a try. I strongly recommend using a smoke stopper like this one. Nothing hurts more than smoke from an almost finished build. If you hear that beeping noise from your motors and see the LEDs blinking, we're good. The following steps are straightforward. We attach the cam to the 3D printed mount with two screws. The screws have to be long enough to go through the mount and short enough to fit into the screw holes of the cam. The cam should not move during flight. Use washers if necessary. Next we screw the cam mount to the frame. For the three printed parts use screws for plastic or for wood, not for metal. For the spacers normal screws are fine of course. The antenna goes into the antenna mount. The 3D printed parts are available for download at Thingiverse. Sort and stack all the wires and components as good as possible. Space is a luxury we do not have. Leave some space to reach the USB plug which is on the back. Of course you can turn the flight controller so the USB plug is on the side but also will be the ESC plug so I do not recommend that. Remember that the components such as the VTX will get quite hot and will need some space and airflow for cooling. If necessary glue the components into place with some two-sided gel tape. I normally glue the RX to the top plate this way. With this build it's actually the best place to be put. On top of the top plate we have a 3 printed shark fin which comes in handy for turtle mode. Fixate the top plate with 4 screws and we are done. As you can see there is no space wasted, everything is stacked neatly here. In this video we have put together a 3 inch copter and made it ready to fly. If you are interested on how to configure the firmware of this copter, stay tuned. One of the next videos will be a tutorial on Betaflight 4 and this copter will be the test object. Here is a short preview to give you a starting point on the configuration. 
In the ports tab, we have configured URT1, a serial RX for the Crossfire receiver, URT3 for the run cam control, and URT4 for the ESC telemetry. Because we have Smart Audio wired directly via receiver and VTX, we do not require an extra UART for Smart Audio in this build. You can use this concept if you are short on UARTs. If this video was informative and helpful, I am happy about thumbs up, and I am especially happy if you subscribe to this channel.